Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the review for the Transformer Studio Series Leader Class 66 Constructicon Overload. Now, before we take a look at Overload, um, and mind you, this Overload has been custom painted. I have applied a few paint apps uh, that are not on the box, not on the figure. So be warned. Um, these pieces are not painted. This wind, uh, this rear view mirror is not painted. This bar is not painted. The headlights are not painted, and the windshield wiper is not painted. So anything that you see in those sections that you like that's painted, I did it myself, and it's not on the official figure. So let me roll him out, and we will look at the box. It shows a nice picture of Overload. Same picture of Overload on the back. Um, same thing as Devastator, and the background is the same that came with all the other Constructicons. Um, on the back, it shows Overload. Same bio as it is, except it has a different name looks pretty good and hooray four boxes all right moving on to overload someone that I had been trying to find for a long 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 time I finally found you would not believe the hassle I went through to get this figure but it was worth it dust all over it don't know why that is I've been playing with them all right anyway overload is a I think it's a extended bed dump truck because him and Long Haul look pretty similar in the front except for this bed. So if it was just this, they look pretty similar. Um, all the wheels do roll, but I don't have it lined up, I think. So that's why that these wheels aren't wanting to uh, roll. So let me see if I can get this rolled down all the way. Uh, now i got to push it down. Or it's... Let me see here. Well, I'll figure it out after I get the um, review done. I guarantee it. Yeah, that just doesn't want to roll. Uh, anyway, it's really nice. He's got six wheels, and no, there's nothing to put in the dump truck because, I mean, this is a transformer. Are you really expecting a transformer that turns into a dump truck that can actually hold stuff in the dump truck bed? No. It's not going to happen until we get a little bit farther in engineering technology. Actually, let me pull this up and try to fold that down. There we go. That should work. Just slide that back over. I know I just spoiled the transformation a little bit, but oh well. Let me get those clipped down here. If I fold them down, I should be able to just barely tab that in. Well, troubleshooting is a horrible thing. I hate it. All right. That should just slide right up in there. In there. Down. I had to roll the other day, but it's not one to do it now. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, he does come with one accessory, and that is the Vortex Grinder for Devastator. And I will show how this works for Mixmaster later, but you can store this on Overload. Um, it's got these two clips right here, and it's got a slot here and a slot here, and you just barely want to pinch it. And um, it will snap on, and that looks ridiculous. But anyway, I don't consider this an accessory for Overload. I consider it more of an accessory for Mixmaster. Um, but taking that off and going to size comparison, here he is uh, with Long Haul. And they do look very similar in how the uh, front is designed. I mean, everything is, everything is the same. Let me fold this down. It looks like everything is the same. I mean, even how the uh, dump truck comes out and the ladders in the front. So, I think they are probably the same kind of dump truck, just a few modifications on it. I mean, hey, if you wanted to carry around some, you can put something on the bed, but... Anyway. Alright, so that was Long Haul. Uh, here he is with Fell Leader Class Constructicon Scavenger. And I will show how everything connects to Overload, including... Uh, um, all the figures that connect to them. So there is Scavenger, and that was folded down, and that was not supposed to be folded down. 
Here he is with uh, Mixmaster. And here he is with Skipjack, because Skipjack is who is supposed to combine, not Rampage. I bought Rampage, and then I got Skipjack, so Rampage will never be used as a leg. So, there you go. And, as I said, all the Constructicons I have have been custom painted. I custom painted a lot of stuff. Like, all the silver you see on them, if you look and see, I custom painted these. I mean, just look at Mix, look at uh, Devastator's head. Here, let me show you Devastator's head. Anything that's not red, black, or green, I painted. So, keep that in mind. All that silver and all that beautiful gold is uh, what I added to it. I think it looks a whole lot better than the, uh, sti the um, uh, 69 Devastator. Ha ha ha, funny joke, ha ha. Anyway, alright, so if you want to use that, that... Does that's for storage. Alright. For Mix Master, what you want to do is bring this out. And this can work the exact same way. You just want to bring that out and uh, it will um, fold overneath this. Over top of that. And then it folds um, back down. It's got two clips on the inside. You have to get it just right in order for it to work. Let me see if I can get it. I still haven't found an elegant way to put this on. Let's see here. And then you just want to close the uh, smokestacks up. Well, here, let me transform Mixmaster really quick. Let's see if I can get this the way it needs to be. Now I do have a huge fan mode for uh, Mixmaster and it looks so much better than the official combination I think at least. So if you all want to see a review of how I custom combine Devastator uh, let me know and I will post it. I'll show you how to transform all the parts uh, so that way you can have the Dev Devastator on all fours like he was in the movie. Because him standing on two legs looks so stupid and I cannot stand it like that. And gone away is this um, foot transformation. I don't do this in my custom combination. I think this is so weird the way they have these feet come up. Anyway. It is what it is. That's how they designed it. Alright. I know this review is about overload, but, I mean, this piece came with overload, so I need to show you how it works. Clip in. Alright, fold that around. Fold that around. Alright. Now that that's like that, should just be able to that down. Alright. Let me tab in the uh, front. Okay. Now you got Mixmaster fully transformed. You want to make sure the smokestacks are out of the way. And then you want to get this. Uh, these tabs on Mixmaster will line up with these little uh, cutouts. There are two tabs inside of here, and I'm trying to get them to line up. But it is actually really hard to do.
actually, if I pull that apart, it should be able to clip on better. I can do this almost perfectly off camera. I don't know why it's so hard. Alright. You should hear a bit of a click when it goes on. And then you want to close the smokestacks, and that solidifies the connection. And so there's what it should look like. Um, it's not a solid connection. I mean, it does stay on pretty well. And the smokestacks do help push it back into place. So that's what that's supposed to look like. As I said, if you want to figure out how that um, I transformed Devastator, then um, comment and I will show you how to do that. Alright, so let me move these guys out of the way because I need them for later. For overload to transform into um, robot mode first, you want to split him right here and he's on two big joints. And you want to bring them one click. Uh, the second click is for combined mode. And you want to rotate that all the way around until it lines up flat. Flat. Bring um, this piece up. Pull it up. And then you want to slide it forward. Bring that up, bring out this piece, and you want to bring this up again, and then this uh, post is going to tap into that hole right there. And then, I'll move my camera out of the way again, then uh, this hook right here is going to clip in right there. Then you want to fold these wheels backwards. Then you want to bring this forward, and it will snap in once, and then snap in for vehicle mode. And then you can bring the head up, pull out these shin guards, open this, flip this up, flip this wheel around. You gotta untab it. Alright, and that will fold up, and it's got these uh, two little sections in here you can't see it but they will grip it's easier to see whenever it's in person and then you flip this um, hill spur out and that's it for the legs so we do this again alright now for the arms probably the most complicated part of the figure uh, you want to pull these out best way to do it is if you wiggle it on the joint and it will want to come out. Uh, that tabs in there and this piece will tab into a slot right here and um, you want to bring that on this joint all the way down, bring it out here and here. And then there is a tab that connects this claw on the inside of here. And then there is a tab that goes into that slot there. Um, So this little tab, no, uh, this little tab right here, and it goes inside of a slot hidden on the um, inside of here. Can't show it on camera because it's too tiny for it to zoom in on, but you can see it in person a lot better. Alright, rotate these all the way down. Straighten out these claws. Bring them out. Then, you want to bring this up, and you want to fold this locker section down. That's for roll-up mode and for Devastator's uh, leg mode. Or do I bring this down all the way? Okay, you can bring it down one click or you can bring it down two clicks. I'll do one arm one way so you can see the difference. And then you decide whichever way you want. Because it's your toy, do what you want with it. Alright, uh, lock this section. Again. And let me get him standing up and then I'll adjust the camera. So you can see what I'm doing. Alright. So this is the difference where it's two clicks down, and this is the difference where it's only one click down. So 
there you go. There is two clicks all the way down. And I think I actually like this better. Now, if you want his arms pointing forward, you're going to have to bend it. And then you want to bend it in here. And then you want to bend it at this joint. And that's for Devastator mode only. But you can use it here to get his arms uh, pointing forward. So that's how you do that. Now articulation lies. He actually does have a lot of articulation for how stocky and big of a figure he looks. So, as I said before, uh, you can move this piece. His head is on a ball joint. You can get some uh, wiggle in there. He can rotate. Um, you got two clicks here. For transformation. You got a full 360 at this piece. Then you can bend down uh, the arms that far. And for Devastator mode, you have this. Well, oh, didn't mean to pop that up. You have this piece, which can rotate all the way around, which you can use for posing. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, out. And then he's got a knee, he's got a ankle t ankle tilt, and then this knee pad can uh, shift in and out. And then this heel spur can open and close. Now, to transform into combined mode, I'm going to transform him all the way back. Sorry for no robot mode comparisons, but uh, this video is already almost 20 minutes long. And he's a triple changer, so i got to work fast here. Alright. Make sure that that clips in for vehicle mode. No, uh, don't tab these back together. Rotate this. Rotate this around into that tab, then bring it all the way back in. Bring that back in. There, that tab on the side will go in there. Now you want to rotate this all the way around to where this is facing the front. Bring this down. And then you want to rotate uh, this piece that far. And now for the leg, you want to fold this hook down. Then you want to bring it down like that. And it will clip into the um, second joint. It clips into the first uh, one up here. And then there is a clip right here somewhere. Let me find it. Or does it, only, does it go in this one? I can't remember. It's Oh, you're supposed to fold it in like that. Then you're supposed to clip it into the first one. And then it's got a clip right here that it will go into. And then it's got a uh, tab that will go in here to connect these two arms. And then you just want to bring that forward about one click. All right, same thing on the other side. I probably, I know you probably didn't even see a thing of what I just did there. But it's actually very easy once you learn how to do it. All right, so fold this down. Fold that in. Oh, wrong way. Fold it in that way. Fold it in. And then put it inside of the... Um, there. This is for vehicle mode. This is for uh, combined mode. So plug that into there. And then there is a clip. And then there is a post. And that will go in. And clip into that. And then there is a tab here. That will go into a slot in there. One click forward, one click forward, one click out, one click out. Alright, you want to bring the legs out like that. Bring up this piece. Unclip it. Slide it all the way over to the middle. Bring it up. Bring the legs out. Bring this all the way up. Tap it into place. Move the um, head back if it has tabbed out of place. Then you want to take these pieces and fold them all the way back up where they were in vehicle mode. 
to have them back in. Tap that back in, bring these out, straighten these all the way out as far as they'll go. That's not tabbed in, I didn't tab it in correctly. There we go. And so there he is in combined mode. Um, let me transform long haul really quick. And then I'll transform uh, skipjack and I'll show you how they're supposed to clip in. I'm going to show you long haul rampage slash uh, skipjack and then how to combine scavenger to overload. Everything else you've already seen before if you're collecting this set, more than likely. Alright, I'm not going to transform this. All you need is this piece. Alright, uh, let me get scavenger out here. Move this out of the way. And I'm not transforming scavenger all the way either. All you need is the uh, wheel that goes on the top of his body. So on the wheel that goes on the top of his body, he's got this giant um, T-slot right here. And that T-slot will go um, match up with this T-slot. I mean, this T-post. Uh, so you take the T-post, put it in the T-slot, Make sure that's brung all the way forward, if you can see what I'm doing. And then you want to slide it down. That'll click, and there's a tab in here that you got to push this all the way back. That'll tab into place. Move that all the way back into place. Alright. As I said, I'm only showing you this piece. I'm not showing the rest. Alright. Uh, that's how you do that. Remove this out of the way. All this mess of whatever this is. Okay. Uh, for long haul, you've got this slot right here that will go into these two pieces. So you want to just get those. And they will slide in. You may have to uh, pinch them together. So that way it will want to slide in there. And once you get it, it should just slide down all the way. Now you've got a leg. I'm taking this off because it is so big it doesn't want to fit. Let me scoot him over here. All right. And then for Skipjack, he's only got one T post and it goes inside of this right here. And that is how you have the legs of Devastator. So there you go. All right. And that is pretty much it for Overload, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.